Hi, my name is Kim and I am no longer on the personal points plan. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Kim and I am gonna give you the five reasons I canceled Weight Watchers. So to tell you a little bit about myself, if you are new here, I have lost over 100 pounds and maintained my weight loss for the better part of 10 years. And I followed Weight Watchers as part of that journey. Now I signed up for Weight Watchers again in probably 2020 to take off about 10 to 15 pounds. I had success with the program losing that weight, but when they unveiled the personal points plan, well, there was a lot of excitement. I'm gonna tell you what, not a fan not a fan. So in this video, I'm going to share why the personal points plan didn't work for me and what finally made me hit cancel on WW. And if you are new here, be sure to hit that red subscribe button, turn on your notifications and go ahead and like this video. If you have been watching any of my videos for say the past six, seven months, you might have seen that I haven't been super happy with the WW personal points plan. And the new plan is reason number one why I decided to cancel Weight Watchers. Now for me, the plan just didn't work. Now I will say that consistency is the most important aspect of any weight loss, health journey, whatever you wanna call it. But for me, I really struggled being consistent on the plan. For one thing, the ability to take the quiz and retake the quiz and retake the quiz and like tweak this and that, I felt like really enabled me to maybe continue bad habits, but it also really just like messed with the points. I don't know, I just, I could never get the new plan to work. And to be honest, since November, I've put on 10 to 15 pounds of which obviously I'm not very happy about and I could just never lose it. Even when I was being my most consistent and doing the best I can on the WW personal points plan, I just didn't feel like it was working. So the second reason I decided to cancel Weight Watchers was I was tired of paying for a plan that I didn't think was working for me. And I honestly was tired of playing the subscription game with WW. If you have ever tried to cancel Weight Watchers, you know that they will try to like lure you back in by offering you a cheaper rate for three months. Weight Watchers will offer you this lower rate, around $14 to $15 for about three months. And then you go back up to the $22, is that what it is now? And you kind of forget about it. So then you see your bank statement and it's $22 and you're like, oh. And then you pay it a couple months and then you're like, eh, do I wanna keep it? And then you go to cancel and they rope you back in. And to be honest, I wasn't following the plan consistently enough and tracking regularly enough on the WW app. That's not to say I wasn't tracking or keeping tabs on what I was eating. Let's just be clear and I'll get to that later in the video. But if I wasn't going to use the app, I was tired of paying for it. Now, 20 bucks a month isn't a ton, depending on where you're at, if you have the money. And you know, Mark and I are grateful that it wasn't like a stretch for us. When you look at the cost over the course of a year, that's close to $250. That is two weeks worth of groceries. That could be two days worth of meals on a vacation. That could be $250 that I put toward my skin removal surgery. And I just, I felt like I could spend my money better in another way. The third reason that I decided to cancel Weight Watchers was my mental health. Now, following a weight loss journey and trying to improve your health can be good for your mental health, but if you are struggling with any disordered eating or you find that you are engaging in a lot of negative self-talk because you're not doing perfectly on the plan, it can actually be very detrimental. And so I found that I was being very critical of myself and harsh when I wasn't able to stick to the points budget. 
And I think there's a number of reasons that I really struggle to stick within my points on the WW personal points plan. And I will get to that in a minute, but it just wasn't doing my mental health any good. And I also feel like I put myself in a really challenging position. On this channel, I shared that I started taking an antidepressant in November called Lexapro. And Lexapro could have contributed to my weight gain, but I was finding myself trying to make a decision. Do I keep taking my antidepressant, which I know is helping my mood and interact with my family in a much more positive way? Or do I stop taking it because I'm having such a hard time with my weight? And I just didn't feel like that was good for me. And I need to prioritize my mental health over sticking to the WW personal points plan. One of the things that I found on the WW personal points plan, and this is reason number four I decided to cancel my membership, is that I found I was being sucked in to diet culture. Now, I don't think WW necessarily promotes diet culture. I do think you can really establish a very healthy lifestyle following the plan. But for me, I found that I was falling into the trap of trying to eat less and move more, but like to an extreme. I kept trying to find a way to eat less and less to make myself smaller and smaller. And when eating less and less wasn't doing it, I was like, how much more can I move? And I already move a lot with my training for long distance races, whether it's running or triathlon. And there's like a breaking point where you just can't eat that little amount of food. And I found like I was having these days where I'm like, okay, I just can't do it anymore. I'm just gonna eat whatever I want because I'm so hungry. And that was not good for me. And I also have found within maybe it's my own perception of the WW community. There hasn't been a lot of education when you're using just the app on how to use activity points. And I feel like there can be a lot of conversation about, well, don't eat your weeklies. Yes, they give them to you, but if you don't eat your weeklies, then maybe this will happen or don't eat your activity points and this will happen. And I actually promoted on this channel, not eating your activity points. Now at that time it was the different plan. And I did feel at that time, the points for activity were overinflated. And a lot of times it depends on how much you are moving. But I don't think the WW plan accounts for people who are trying to take a different approach to movement, whether it's doing long hikes, long bike rides, wanting to train for their first half marathon. It can be really challenging to balance the plan with those kind of endeavors. And I think when you're doing those kind of things, you feel like you have to stick to a certain point level that might not be able to sustain you in your weight loss goals, your physical goals, and your mental health. Now I have some big goals for this year and that includes participating in a half distance triathlon. It is a 1.2 mile swim, 56 mile bike, and 13.1 mile run. Now let me be clear, I know, I know that's not for everyone and sometimes I wonder if it's even for me. But per training for this type of event requires a lot of exercise, a lot of training, and at the peak, it will be 10 to 12 hours of exercise a week. Now with a long-term goal like that, I can't eat within the WW personal points plan. I just can't. And so I felt like I needed to take a step back from Weight Watchers, but I would also really like to learn how to eat intuitively. Now, I know that word gets thrown around a lot, but I need to learn how to trust my body, trust myself. I just looked up because there's a plane overhead. I think the overall goal for me too is to find a very healthy relationship with food. And I do think I have some room to improve there. And so I have considered finding a mental health therapist, psychologist who could work with me on learning to trust myself a little more, learning to be okay with certain things, especially ahead of my skin removal surgery. And I just don't think trying to stick to the WW plan will support that. So what does that mean for me, the channel, you, the world? It means nothing to the world. No one cares that I cancel Weight Watchers. You might not even care that I canceled Weight Watchers. But I want to let you know that nothing on this channel will change except that I will not be sharing points 
for my food. I will continue to film what I eat in a day is try to share recipes that I think can support people in their weight loss journey or their weight loss maintenance or just give them some healthy inspiration. Even though I have canceled WW, I honestly don't eat that differently. I just feel less guilty that I'm not sticking in to my points. Also, I have started working with a dietitian. I met with a dietitian last week who focuses on sports and athletes. Now, I am always one who is a little reticent to call myself an athlete, but given my goals of participating in a triathlon, I felt like it was best to talk to somebody who could help me understand what my calorie needs are, what I should be eating macros wise, and how to feel good about fueling my body. And I also asked, how can I lose these 15 pounds? Why did they happen? Because there are times in our life where we're like, I am eating this little, this little, and I'm exercising so much, why is my body gaining weight? And she definitely gave me some insight, and so I will continue to work with her as I move toward my triathlon and even after so that I can feel my best at the race when I have my skin removal surgery and beyond. And I think working with her is gonna really help in that healthy relationship with food. So what am I doing now? I am tracking my calories on my fitness pal. It's like my OG. I've been consistently tracking on my fitness pal almost alongside with WW. And I will be trying to hit my macros goal, which is about 50% calories, 20 to 30% protein and the rest fat and yeah i would love to hear what your personal experiences have been on the ww personal points plan have you been tempted to cancel or actually canceled yourself please tell me in the comments down below and be sure to hit that red subscribe button turn on your notifications like this video thank you so much for watching and until next time do something you love